welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce here at Joy of My Life. I do fashion, beauty, tech, vlogs, and all that beautiful stuff. So if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. Today, as you guys can see, I am back in the bathroom. <laughs> But I am doing my January favorites. It's a little late. I don't know. What was, I don't want to say a little late because this is my first time actually ever doing a favorites video on my channel. But I guess I'm comparing it to when you're supposed to post a January favorites video. It's kind of like around the end of January. It's a little past that now. But oh well. I'm very excited to show you guys all the stuff that I've compiled together that I basically have been really into this past month. Um, I really haven't been doing much, but being inside and everything, but when I have gone out, I've used some of these things and also did like like binge some of these things because I'm gonna be talking about other stuff besides just products too. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get right into this video. Okay, so the first category we're gonna start with is tech. The first thing I wanna say is my camera that we're filming on right now. <laughs> the Canon M50 Mark II. If you guys have been following me and watch my most recent videos, you guys know I just bought this camera for my birthday in December. So I have been heavily into this camera, obsessed with this camera since I bought it. Even though I've only, this is, actually I think this is the first video I'm filming with it. Like YouTube video I'm filming with it. Yeah, it is. That's exciting. <laughs> I have been like playing around with the settings. I'm still learning the camera a lot, but I've definitely been obsessed with it. I really like it. I switched from a Sony. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it up in the cards. I did a whole unboxing of it and test and all that stuff. So yeah. <laughs> the other thing is this phone tripod. Now I have used this phone tripod so much. <laughs> Basically all my recent reels that if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I use this phone tripod. So basically it just attaches to the top of any type of tripod you have um, I've I have a specific tripod just for my camera. So I sometimes use this one that you guys are propped on right now, but basically you just mount it and this can turn landscape or portrait i usually just use portrait as you guys can see and you just slide your phone in and then tighten this side right here but guys probably one of my favorite purchases on amazon <laughs> i think i got this in december but i used it heavily this month heavily the next thing that is for tech is my newest phone case so this phone case actually just came <laughs> but i have been obsessed since i got it Obsessed, like obsessed. So I bought this off of Etsy and I was just looking for a case for my phone. If you guys know, I bought the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Again, there's plenty of videos on that. I just that are recent that you could go check out on my channel. But I got the Sierra Blue phone, so I needed a phone case. Well, I don't want to say I needed it. <laughs> I wanted a phone case that basically was clear and showed the color of my phone. But I was just like, a clear case is just so basic. Let's get it personalized. Let's find a cute one. And that's why I got it off of Etsy. So you get the text in different colors. I got it in white just because I wanted white, but the, the, the font, are you kidding? Like the font is gorgeous. So I'm really, really happy. And this wasn't that expensive. I want to say max, maybe $15. Okay. Now let's go on to some quick like fashion stuff. So the first thing I want to mention is this vintage coach bag. This has become my go-to bag to wear out. Like anytime I'm going somewhere, I'm putting this, I'm using this bag. The cutest bag ever. <laughs> it's just a small little like, what is it called? Shoulder bag, I guess. Little, it's like, I don't want to say it's hobo, but it's like a nice little shoulder bag. Definitely um, big enough to hold a lot of stuff. Like this is, even though it looks small, it definitely holds like my phone, my wallet, all of that. This is probably my first coach bag that I've ever had. Like I've had this since I was like, like younger. My mom bought me this and I've kept it, not given it away. And now that like coach has done like a rebrand, everyone wants coach bags now, but I've always had coach bags. So I'm, I'm excited to bring this one back out. She's been getting a lot of use recently, but we love her. We love her. <laughs> the next thing are these slippers. So I actually received these as a gift from one of my friends for Christmas, but these are on Amazon. I love these slippers. I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna take off my shoes so you guys can see the slippers. I wear them every day. I wear them around the house. They are so comfortable. They have plenty of different colors. I wanted this like caramel uh, type of color. It goes well with my skin tone, but look how cute. Look how cute. All right, let's get into some perfume. I know you guys are ready for the perfume. Now, my last video, I gave you a whole rundown of my perfume collection but i'm gonna give you guys my top three that i've been really i guess gravitating towards during january that i like always reach for even though i've definitely reached for all of them <laughs> like at least once um to like try to use and like get used to some of the you know the sets and everything but i think these three that i picked today i think like were the ones that i always you know gravitated towards so number one is the Aqua de Gio Gioia from Giorgio Armani. I did talk about this in my last video. So nice. It's really nice to sleep after the shower, like I had talked about in another video, but amazing. Great scent. We love her. <laughs> we love her. The next one is the Coach Dreams Sunset. Now, this is one, like I said, I had bought this one, um, and it's a really nice floral very nice not too overpowering so sometimes when i just want to like put a nice different scent on I, I gravitate towards this one and it's been my favorite floral fragrance recently so <laughs> that's that for now <laughs> and the last one is a fragrance you guys did not see in that video i got it near the end of january and i've literally worn it every day since <laughs> literally so this is the Jimmy Choo Blossom. Now I actually unboxed this on my Instagram and my TikTok. I did two different types of like versions of the, of the video, but she's adorable. She's adorable and it's another floral fragrance. I know I just said that the Coach Dream Sunset was probably my top. The past like <laughs> week and a half, she's been the top one. Okay, so let's continue the beauty vibe and let's go into some beauty products that I want to highlight. So I don't wear makeup every day. I'll be honest here. I have makeup on today, but not usually. But these are my go-to makeup products recently. If I'm just putting something on to just like maybe take some pictures or you know film some videos or whatever, these are go-to. My favorite mascara recently, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, hands down. <laughs> this is so good. It makes my lashes feel so, so long. I'm not wearing her today though, but she is a tried and true favorite. The wand is definitely like, I don't wanna say, it's, it's voluminous. It's definitely like a voluminous type of mascara. So that is how the wand looks. She, she gets my lashes long. She gets them looking definitely voluminous um and i i don't have to put too many coats on her like i just i, I love her i i love her she's she's a i really don't like buying a lot of expensive mascaras because i feel like drugstores do it better i'll be honest so that's the tea for me <laughs> the other product i have been loving for my everyday is the merit brow gel i have the shade black brown um, and when I really, I, I, I'll be honest, I really don't do too much to my brows when I'm doing them. If anything, I use the spoolie first, like comb through them, and maybe add some, if I'm using a pencil, I'll add near the ends, more so than the, like right close to my, uh, what's it called, my forehead, <laughs> my middle of my head, my middle of my nose. This was a really nice product because it was very simple. Literally, I just swipe over with the the brush and it's really nice it doesn't look too harsh it looks very natural it also keeps my brows in place with the gels so definitely definitely a beautiful product as well now i didn't bring my powder foundation here because i feel like i've talked about my powder foundation on my channel so many times <laughs> i interchange between the l'oreal true match foundation um powder foundation and the fenty beauty powder foundation but lip gloss we are gonna mention i don't care every time <laughs> we're gonna talk about lip gloss <laughs> you guys know how many lip gloss videos i have done like i'm obsessed recently i have been getting back to my butter gloss my nyx butter gloss now this is always gonna be like a uh, top tier hall of fame product for me recently i've gone back to them and like i'm gonna say was it 
maybe it was before my birthday, so maybe like October-ish, maybe, let's say that. Maybe a little bit earlier than that, maybe September, who knows. I bought some more butter glosses because they came out with like a whole new array of shades, like brown nude type of shades, and I bought like five of them. <laughs> And when I got them, I didn't like automatically open them because I still had like other shades that I used, but I've been eyeing them and using them more recently. So the, the top three, <laughs> like I said, I, I didn't want to take too many, are the Cinnamon Roll Fudge Me Madeline. <laughs> Almost couldn't remember what it was. So Madeline is this like lighter color. Now, recently I've been doing a lot of lip combos where I do a lot of brown lip liner, usually NYX Espresso, or if it's not NYX Espresso, it's NYX Cappuccino, I think it's called. Yeah, those are the lip liners I use. I always use NYX lip, lip liners. So this, I will usually do brown lip liner and then put this in the middle of my lips and then mix it together, it looks really natural. This is more of like a lighter pink. This one is, as you can see from the boss, kind of like a beige, I would say beige is brown. A muted brown for sure. And then this is the one I'm wearing today, actually. Fudge Me is the one I'm wearing today. And it's definitely like a lighter brown. Um, definitely really matches my skin tone. Like it doesn't look, like it looks really <laughs> nude. Like it really does look nude. So I really love this one. I've been, I've been wearing it a lot recently and I only have a little bit of a liner around it. So you could wear it by itself. Honestly, I feel like you could wear all three of these by themselves, but I usually wear a lip liner no matter what. But yeah. Before we get into my last like show and tell, <laughs> I want to talk about the shows that I have been binging this past January. Number one, an old show that I just started for the first time, New Girl. I've been obsessed. I've watched the first season, I want to say in a week, I finished it. Because I'm not like a crazy binger, let me say that. Like I, I won't, I might sit down for like a max of two hours, unless I'm like really bothered with the show. I won't try to finish a show that quickly. I like to like enjoy it and like marinate, savor it, you know? Um, so I finished I think the first season in like a week and I'm now in the second season. It's a feel good show. Um, there's definitely some funny moments here and there, but it doesn't crazily, like I feel like it's just a show that gives me like a feel good mood, you know? So it's definitely a show I watch when I'm eating or I'm just chilling around, like I like it. And the other show, Abbott Elementary. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love this show so much. I really, really love this show so much. So I don't know if you have heard about it, but basically it's a show about teaching um, in an inner city, like underfunded school, um, like all the trials and tribulations with that. And it's so funny. They just started the show in January, early, I think it was the beginning of January. And I didn't watch the first one live. I like caught up on it on Hulu. It, it airs live on ABC on Tuesday nights. And then you could watch it on Hulu the next day, but love it. My favorite character right now, I would say, I don't know, my favorite two characters. I would say the principal is hilarious. <laughs> hilarious she has the best one-liners and then I would say Gregory um, Gregory is played by I think his name is Tyler James Williams the one that played um, Chris on everybody hates Chris definitely catch on to it if you haven't already I if you're a fan of like the office Parks and Rec like I was a huge fan of all those shows it's very similar like how they film it like they'll have like the scenes where the only the characters like confess like you know it's a confessional type of vibe um and like they have like the pans of like their facial reactions it's hilarious i love it okay the last and final category is organization now i've been really excited about organizing right at least recently there's been so much like content that i've been consuming on social media about organization home hacks all of that so i was inspired and wanted to do something so my first dip into it was my sunglasses drawer. <laughs> so basically, I got these off of Amazon. They came as like, they're stackable. <laughs> so it's a two pack that comes with it. Right now, they don't have these available anymore. They have the ones that it's like, it's like these two together and these two together. So if you want them, I'm going to link everything that I talked about today in the, in the description anyway, but that's what it will come as, but I love them. They have three compartments, really easy to 
see your sunglasses whereas with me i had them like in a drawer or a bag so it's good to, it's good to like see them and it looks nice you know on your dresser or your vanity even some of them i was able to fit like two because some of my glasses are a little skinny so yeah i'm really excited i ordered another one because i still have some more sunglasses to fit but i do love it i love it a lot all right guys that is all of my january favorites so i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys have seen any of these products or are interested in any of these products or what has been like your most used item this past month let me know down in the comments below but without further ado i will see you guys in the next video Bye, y'all.